right. I think we're in the middle of nowhere, right? That's about right for Texas. Ain't you from Texas? I'm Texas proud. But okay, let's do this. We're not leaving until we get barbecue on the way out. What happens when you eat barbecue? I don't care, man. I want barbecue on the way out. We've got a client wants an old school Volkswagen bus restored into a modern slash retro crazy street cruiser. Volkswagen buses are not normally in our wheelhouse, but when the client said they wanted a Count's custom style bus, there's no way we're saying no to that. We've heard about this place in Texas that supposedly is a literal field of up to 100 Volkswagen buses. We tracked down the cat that runs the place, and he and his dad have been collecting these buses for years. He invited us to come down and check out his Texas size collection. Shannon, being our resident Volkswagen freakazoid, was definitely going to be riding shotgun on this one. Up there, I see something. This is a Volkswagen bus ranch. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Ooh, there's another batch of them out there. Just control yourself, man. I know how you get around Volkswagen buses. I'm just taking it all in. Play it cool, though. You ready? Yeah. Dude, this is like a retirement fund right here. Look at that. I am speechless. Just bury me right here. All this over there? He's got like one of every bus. Hey, how I you doing, just... man? She found it. Yes, sir. Oh. Ryan, Bryce. nice to meet you. Bryce Dishman. Hey, Shannon, nice to meet you, Bryce. Bryce. Ooh, look at this. Look. This is insane. This is like Bugtopia. I'm a Vita bus enthusiast. I'll do it for the money. I've got a, I got my own job. I got to teach and stuff. So, you know, I just do it to buy more buses. <laughs> You've got like one of everything here, don't you? I think so. I, <laughs> you, you never have enough, though. It's, I don't know what I don't know what enough is, and uh, you know, it's almost like a Vita disease, you know. Right. Okay. This is the shiny Damn. one. You want me to pull it out for you? Please. <laughs> I'm going to worry about Russ and Mondo. You worry about all hey, the other look, stuff. There's a plus. It runs. We can drive it back to Vegas. It's in amazing condition. Dude, it's in amazing condition. Wow. <gasps> Man, look at nice. this. Mind if I touch? You can touch all you want. Like I said, if you're coming this far to look at it, by all means, touch it. You playing a song? If the metal tings, there's no Bondo. If it goes stud, there's Bondo. I'm not hearing a lot of Bondo, dude. There's a lot of tings. That's a good sign of the body. All right, all right. Uh, mind if I ask you where you got this thing from? Um, I bought it from a lieutenant colonel that called me about uh, moving some three other restored buses. And I said, what is it? And he said, it's a 60 um, bus. And I said, with air conditioning. I said, hmm, Texas bus with air conditioning. I'm gonna makes have to sense, right? Makes sense. Can we look inside? Check it out. Oh, man, shoot. Wow. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's got the old lock shifter. Safe to say, when you're a Volkswagen person, you, you're, it's, uh, it's a whole cult. It's a culture. It's, it it's is. a sickness. It's a, it's a, it is, unfortunately. With AC, little compressor. So what size engine is in here? This has got an 1835 um, single port. Um, with the dual 40. Oh, I was about to say, that manifold looks pretty old. I haven't seen one in a long time with the MP uh, intake runners. There's a few rust blisters here yeah. and there. The body's solid. I don't feel a lot of Bondo. And are we buying a bus or what? Man, I think we, you know, if we can negotiate on the price, I think we found the right one. I mean, it's still an early split window bus that's affordable. Dude, I think the bus is cool as hell. What's your... Uh, what were you asking for? I was asking 37 for it. It's not I'm trying to beat you up on the price. Don't get the wrong impression, but we are doing a full color change. We are definitely going to have to strip the bus because we got to give our clients what we know. So I can't give a client a paint job that's on top of another paint job that I don't know anything about. Right. So there's rust that has to get cut out. Paint needs to be stripped. Everything reseam sealed. I mean, we're going to have a ton of hours and money into this thing just getting it painted the color it's supposed to be. Man, 33.5, and you can have it. Dude, you know what? That's a great price, man. Thank you. Well, it, it, it leaves a little room for us to, you know, have it shipped back. All right, Bryce, thank you, man. Pressure. Our shop coordinator will get back with you with the details, a check, and let you know when we're going to pick it up. All right. Like I said, Barbecue, man. Wire transfer. Thank you. Quicker. Thank right, you very thanks, much, guys. Bryce. Thanks, man. I know your stomach's growling. I know my stomach's growling. All that talk about barbecue, of That's course. right, man. Well, all right, that worked out great. That place was insane, and we found the perfect bus to start restoring. Now all the hard work starts. 
VWs really are their own rare breed. Back in the day, they only cost about $2,000, but by today's standards, they go anywhere from $50,000 all the way up to over $100,000. It all depends on what the buyer's willing to pay. Shannon really knows his Volkswagens. Years ago, we built one for the shop and he guided us through it. Hopefully this insane custom comes out perfect. Otherwise, it just might be the last one we ever do. I can't wait to get started on it. I can't wait to come back. You know, except for Shannon, we really don't do a lot of, you know, Volkswagens around here. But when we got this 1960 VW 11 window bus in to do, that was cool, man. But when I found out that the client wanted to make it this high-end luxury beach cruiser, I was stoked. Man, my team kicked into high gear. We took this baby down to bare metal, restored every inch of this thing, added all kinds of goodies to this baby. She's ready to cruise, ready to cruise the beach, ready to cruise the mountains, ready to cruise the country. She's ready. Come on out. Yeah, Bryce, how you doing today? Man, I'm doing outstanding. Clients couldn't make it out to the shop, so we wanted a stamp of approval from VW expert Bryce himself, the guy we bought the VW from. He's here, wants to check it out now. Can't wait to hear what he thinks. Bryce, you, my brother, are a VW man and you're a VW bus man. I am. Got a lot of them. Got a couple. My boys refer to it as a bus farm. Yeah, it's... Uh, you're growing them down there. No, it's... we're hunting them. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Why you got so many buses? Well, um, I got into them about 12 years ago, and just it's the Volkswagen addiction. Here's the deal. We built this beautiful 60 VW bus. These clients, they're back east folks. And before we ship it back to them, you being here means a ton to us because we would love your stamp of approval before this thing gets loaded up on a truck and gets gone. Well, if it's anything else like y'all built, I'm sure it won't be hard to give it the stamp. You, know? you, are, you are a gentleman. Yeah. I think we should just look at it. The, the problem is, is getting Shannon out of it. He's already threatened to steal it two or three times. All right, we ready to bring this out? Uh, we bring oh, this I'm out? definitely ready. All right, All right let's bring this baby out. Right. Shannon, my man! Bring that baby out, but stop. Don't keep going. That sounds a little more than 40 horsepower back there. <laughs> Might be a little bit more. Oh. It looks awesome. Dang. Is he having to put a clutch in on that thing? <laughs> oh. This man's paying attention. Uh huh. Oh, the brakes work good. God, that paint is ridiculous. My guys always knock it out of the park, but this baby is truly a work of art. Our clients wanted to keep that classic VW old school style, but give it a high end luxury overhaul. We updated the engine and suspension and added brand new disc brakes for maximum modern drivability. Next, Ghetto Bob created a gorgeous custom leather interior providing the kind of luxury you really don't see in a VW bus. Ryan did his magic on the outside, an insane two-tone Turkish blue and white with a blue pearl paint job that just beams under the sun. This thing is so cool. I never really wanted a VW bus, but I think I do now. This bus, okay, she's 1960. She's an automatic and air conditioned. Everything Awesome. in the rear had to be relocated to make it all work. Because they never made a split window with an automatic. So nope. this is, um, I know the engineering work underneath this thing must be a... Uh... It's amazing under yes. there. You got that church key, man. Let's take, let's take a look at this engine. Oh. So I want you to check this out, how factory this looks, yet it is so custom. What kind of beast did you put back here, Shannon? It is a 2276. God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how does it push this automatic transmission? It's a little different. You know, because I've never driven a bus with an automatic. So you sit there with your, your foot, your left foot, trying to reach for the clutch every time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh. It's a one of a kind. Oh, it's going to be, I mean, I foresee it being in magazines or something down the road. Amen. Uh, it, the purists would like this thing because it's, it's subtle, you know, but it's clean. It's nothing extravagant, but yet it's got all the amenities of a new car. You, you, I cannot uh, thank you enough for coming out and looking at it. Oh, uh, awesome. Total stamp of approval. No, no doubt. I okay. mean, it's, anybody be thrilled and happy to, to, to get something like this. Bryce, I can tell you this, brother. The next time we need a bus for a client, we're calling you. I know the place we can all go eat, and we can um, stare at some buses out in the field. <laughs> we can have a good time. If you got a few minutes, man, let's, sure. go, let's go bum around and show yeah, them. Yes, so you got awesome, awesome stuff. Let's go. Just back away, just back away. <laughs> 
We get so many classic American muscle cars and hot rods here at Counts Customs. It's just what we do. But every once in a while, it's so cool to do something completely different like this VW bus, which came out so wicked, I personally love it. Bryce is a VW expert, man. If he's digging it, I know my clients are gonna dig it. I'm so proud of my team and my boys for taking on this challenge and knocking it out of the park.